everyone welcome back to my channel today it is a travel vlog on a tin mine dredge and mr vishwa will be presenting okay tanjam tualang number no. 5 tin dredge otherwise known as tt5 the last remaining tin dredge as you can see in malaya or malaysia it's like a huge floating factory and the water that is uh, you see it, it has to be on the place where it is uh, dredging up the alluvial soil to extract tin ore this was uh, commissioned in 1932 if i'm not wrong yep built in 19 sorry it was built in 1938 by a british firm called f w payne and sons p a y n e and sons uh, upgraded in 1963 and then uh, it was decommissioned in 1982 when the extraction of tin uh, and the tin prices dropped not economical to run a huge place a huge uh, uh, operation like this when the tin prices have dropped or when the extraction of tin is uh, less now tt5 is now part of the kinta valley national geo park okay now as you can see inside we are actually inside you can see all the various mechanisms engines and what not yeah most of this since it was built in britain the equipments that they use like chains pulleys motors everything is of british make and they are built to last continuous running then the company makes money if you keep frequent breaks down I mean as you can see from the chart that they show it is like that floating right on top and right at the bottom the chain goes down to the bottom to scoop up no interesting right okay solid stuff there yeah, that's a chain the dredge buckets is pulled up from that okay. yeah okay ah there you can see the scoop the metal scoop attached to the uh, conveyor belt Okay, very robust construction. Thick is uh, easily half an inch thick. Yep, you can see that. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
we are coming to the end. Um, basically, the operation is very simple, except that it needs a lot of manpower to run it profitably. Okay. The raw tin is processed on the dredge itself and bagged to be sent to smelting factories. At the factory, all is first cleaned off, all impurities removed, then smelted into tin ingots. These ingots were shipped off to England from Penang. That's a port which is about 200 kilometers north, maybe more, yeah, about 250, around 250 kilometers north of where we are. Tanjong Tuwalang. And that brings me to the end of this video. I hope you all have liked this video. Do give me your suggestions and feedback.